how you can fund your next property purchase without touching your savings. Hi everyone, this is Kelly, the Property Hunter. Welcome back to our channel, the best place for property investors. For those of you who are joining us for the first time today, let me introduce myself very shortly. Okay, my name is Kelly and together with my husband, Paul, we are actually real estate professionals with over 16 years of experience. We are also real estate trainers and authors in the industry, as well as investor and multiple property owners of four properties in Singapore. All right. So today we're going to talk about, you know, a lot of people have this misconception that, hey, in order to be a property investor or to buy our next property, I need to have a lot of cash. I need to have a lot of funds with me. I need to touch. I need to clear my savings. So is that true? So today we're going to answer that question. Yeah. Okay, so the question is, how else can I afford a property without touching my savings? The thing now is there are actually a lot of um, funds, resources that we can actually tap into to fund for our property purchase. There are a lot of us uh, actually not exposed to, unaware of, or, not, or maybe it didn't cross your mind at all. Okay, so let's address this today. Okay, so um, there, like I mentioned earlier, there are a few methods, a few unknown funds that you can tap into. One is a very common one that a lot of people know about, which is your current CPF account. As a lot of us know, our current CPF account, our ordinary account OA, you can actually use the funds in there to make, um, to pay for your next property purchase. You can, it can also be used to pay for the down payment up to 20% of your down payment. As you know, property purchase in Singapore, you need to pay about 25%. So 20% of it can be used by using your CPF. So all you need to do is to come up with the cash for the 5%. All right. The next unknown fund that we you know uh, that you can tap into is actually the CPF that is locked down in your current property. The thing now is a lot of people have only thought about the CPF they have currently in their CPF account, but I didn't cross their mind about the CPF they have already put in to the current property they are staying. Let me give you an example. For example, there was a couple that came to me and Paul and said, we really want to invest um, in a property, but we don't have the extra cash and funds to do so. So how else you know, um, can we go about doing it? Guess what? We found out after speaking to them, we found out that they have been staying in their current property for 15 years and they have been servicing the mortgage for the past 15 years using solely CPF. So you can imagine the amount of CPF they have actually you know, accumulated in their current property. So what we did was we actually um, helped them cash out. What they did was they actually sold their property. They took the CPF that they were used in their property and guess what? They were able to afford two properties in the end. One, one under the husband's name and one under the, the wife's name instead. All right. The third one that a lot of people didn't think about is the funds that are currently locked in the current property that you are staying. Another example, couple in their 40s who came to us and they were saying that we really want to um, invest in property. How else can we go about um, go about funding for it? The thing now is this couple in their 40s, right? They are staying in a property that is fully paid, okay, fully paid. Their property is worth about 1.2 million at a point of time, all right? So imagine you are actually living, eating, sleeping, you know, under this amount of 1.2 million dollar cash, okay? So what we did was we actually got them to cash out, you know, as well. It didn't cross their mind as well again, so we, we managed to do like a restructuring of portfolio with them. So um, they cashed out and in the end, the cash that they were able to get back Okay, with that cash, they were able to, you know, proceed to, to fund for two properties instead of one. Okay, again, another um, method, you know, that a lot of people didn't cross their mind. The last method that I have here is uh, the, to tap on the, the capital appreciation in your current property. This, a lot of people uh, actually weren't aware that they are able to do this. Okay, this is actually another uh, the common term that we use is refinancing or, or to be even clearer, to be more specific, it's actually gear up financing. So what can we go about doing that? Because there are people who came to us and said, we want to uh, we want to invest in property, but we don't want to sell our current place. So what else can we do? So this is when you can make use of this method here. Okay, so basically to make use of the capital appreciation in your current property. So. An example here is this is a property you bought in 2016 for 
and presuming that you know at this current market the property valuation is only at seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars i'm being very very conservative here okay so we can take a look yeah okay so um this is how the bank actually cash out okay this is the formula they use so basically they use the current valuation times 75 percent which is the maximum loan that you can take okay and data off your outstanding loan and that is the amount that is the amount of cash that you can actually withdraw out okay and use it okay let me give you uh, based on this example let me give you the figures so based on this example itself you can see seven hundred and fifty thousand is the current valuation okay times 75 percent which is the um, maximum loan that we can take uh, minus of 400 over here i'm uh, presuming assuming that you know uh, this house we are paying super little mortgage okay uh servicing the monthly payment of paying super little so the outstanding mortgage is still quite high at 400 even at you know this amount and even with such a high as much higher um, outstanding loan, we are still able to cash out a fund of $162,000. And with these funds, you can actually use it to make the down payment for your next property easily. All right. Okay. So I hope today's session, you know, on this um, other uh, resources, you know, that you can tap into, you know, has been useful. All right. If you are interested to know more uh, on tips and strategies on property investment, do follow us uh, in our channel. Uh, as well, let me just share with you, alternatively, we also have a wealth webinar. It is a free webinar that's upcoming on the 12th of November, 8 p.m. So if you're interested to find out more tips and strategies that we use in our own uh, property investment itself, you can uh, join us here. You can actually just use your handphone, scan the QR code here. Otherwise, I will just type in the um, link to the comments that you can click on and sign up. All right. I hope to see you guys soon the next time. Uh, till then, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.